Hello guys, welcome to learning class. Today in maths class, we are going to do a theorem which states that if x is an eigenvector of a matrix A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda, then kx is also an eigenvector of A corresponding to the same eigenvalue lambda where k is a non-zero scalar. So to prove this theorem, first of all, let's know what is an eigenvector and what is an eigenvalue. So let A be a scalar matrix of order N over a field F. And now a scalar lambda which belongs to the field F will be called an eigenvalue of matrix A if there exists a non-zero n cross 1 that is the order of the matrix n cross 1 so because the uh, column number of columns is 1 so definitely it's a column matrix so let us write so a scalar lambda belonging to the field F is called an eigenvalue of A if there exists a non-zero matrix is the non-zero matrix, a non-zero n cross 1 column matrix. Suppose it is X. So this will be like equal to somewhat like this because column is only one. Let us fill the values like x1, x2 and so on up to xn. So this is a n cross 1 order matrix, column matrix such that that A matrix cross the x matrix will be equal to lambda into x matrix. So this is the condition for an eigenvalue to occur. Like lambda will be the eigenvalue of matrix A if there exists a non-zero n cross 1 column matrix X such that A into X is equal to lambda into X. So this is the condition. So this is the definition of an eigenvalue and now you have known that what is an eigenvalue. Let's proceed towards the definition of an eigenvector. This simply this x is called the eigenvector. Let us just put it in a definition. The non-zero column matrix x is called the eigenvector of the matrix A corresponding to the so like there is an eigenvector corresponding to an eigenvalue so here x is an eigenvector of the matrix A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda of A. So you can say that here lambda is an eigenvalue and x is an eigenvector. Remember eigenvalue is also called characteristic value and uh, similarly eigenvector is also called characteristic vector. So in both ways we can call it. So I hope that you have now understood that what is an eigenvalue and what is an eigenvector. So now let's proceed towards the proof of the theorem. Now we are back on the theorem. So since x is an eigenvector of A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda, this is given, yes, here it is given, x is an eigenvector of a matrix A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda, this is given. So because x is an eigenvector and according to the definition of the eigenvector that we have recently studied, uh, it is clear that x would be a non-zero matrix and definitely it would satisfy that equation that we have just studied and it was like a into x would be equal to lambda into x if x is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda. So definitely this is true for x and lambda. So now 
we know that we have to prove kx. We have to prove kx, uh, an eigenvector of a corresponding to the same eigenvalue lambda. Uh, because like it was that uh, if here lambda is an eigenvalue. So x is an eigenvector and we have to uh, eigenvalue is same that is lambda only. Instead of x there is kx. So k, uh, uh, for kx we have to prove this condition. So for kx let me write it down like we have to prove to prove like a into for x we have to prove for kx. So here in place of x there would come kx is equal to eigenvalue is the same so definitely lambda is gonna be lambda and here also in place of x there would come kx so this is the thing that we need to prove that a into kx is equal to lambda into kx because in this way for eigenvalue lambda there would be an eigenvector kx of matrix A and this is the thing that we need to prove uh, kx is also an eigenvector of A corresponding to the same eigenvec eigenvalue sorry lambda where k is a non-zero scalar so now let's just consider A into kx like we know what we have to prove so we are going to take the left hand side of what we have to prove the left hand side is a into kx so we are gonna see what it is equal to so a into kx see we can also write it as k into ax because k is a scalar and x and a are both matrices so whether it doesn't matter that whether we multiply k first by x matrix and then multiply the resulting matrix with a matrix or we firstly multiply the both the matrices a and x and then multiply the resulting matrix with k scalar so it doesn't matter both of these will be equal so definitely we can write a into kx is equal to k into ax but now we know that ax is equal to lambda x this is the value of ax due to the given condition so we can here instead of ax we can just substitute the value of ax and that is lambda x so definitely this will be now equal to k into lambda x but again we know we have to prove lambda into kx and this like can be written k into lambda x definitely can be written as lambda into kx because lambda and k both are scalars here so definitely it doesn't matter whether we first multiply lambda by x and then whatever the matrix will come we will multiply that matrix with k scalar or we will firstly multiply x matrix by k and then multiply the resulting matrix by lambda so both of these are equal so definitely we can write k in into lambda x is equal to lambda into kx so from here we came to know that a into kx this is equal to lambda into kx so this was the condition that we needed to prove which means we have proved the theorem now let's just put it into words now let uh, let us write down now k into x is a non-zero vector see we know that x is not equal to zero and if we will multiply a scalar k over here then definitely that would also be a non-zero vector so we can write that kx is a non-zero vector such that a into kx is equal to lambda into kx so i think so these were the all conditions 
for uh, for an eigen vector because in the definition it was said that x is a non zero call uh, n cross 1 column matrix such that a into uh, that eigen vector would be equal to eigen value into eigen vector so we can also say that kx is a non zero vector and we can also say that kx is a column matrix with order n cross 1 because we know that x is a column matrix with uh, order n cross 1 and if we will simply multiply it with a scalar k then definitely number of columns will remain 1 and number of rows will also remain the same that was n. So definitely kx is also a column matrix with order n cross 1 and it is non-zero vector and it also satisfies the condition that a into kx is equal to lambda into kx which means the given matrix into the eigenvector is equal to eigenvalue into the eigenvector. So definitely with this we can say that kx is an eigenvector of a matrix corresponding to the eigenval eigenvalue lambda of a. So definitely we have proved the theorem. Hope that you would have understand it very easily. Thank you very much.